uh, for many people has been rounding corners uh, of paths so uh, one of the quickest easiest ways of uh, rounding corners in uh, illustrator and this is in cs5 but it could be for cs6 etc et cs4 is to use a plugin and the plugin i'm going to use is from astute software it's uh, called vector scribe uh, it comes with a, other plugins as well but uh, this one is a dynamic corners feature so i'm just going to draw a path uh, it's just a path there and i'm just going to go to the plugin and there's the plugin so dynamic corners comes up with a little panel uh, you actually have to go to the window to actually bring it up so vector scribe corner panels there right comes with a number of options obviously you set the, the size of the corner as well as the uh, different settings for the corner so I'm just going to obviously go for the rounded corner regular corner as it's called or negative corner and the chamfered corner right now just go over to a path just drag that down to create that corner now you can create them independently and I'm just just doing that just to quickly show you do that independent corners so you can actually have different sizes of course you can resize it again so if you decide that corner you just want it there you can change that just going to get rid of that path and I'm just going to again select another path and let's go there you can actually do the whole lot in one go if you wish you can just go select one corner so you set that sort of to the right size you can of course keep modifying it if you wish then apply to selection and then it applies it to the entire selection there full four corners if you want to remove the uh, option of dynamic you can actually just say remove dynamic status and then it goes back to just a standard normal path as you can see now we've got rounded corners now if you've got an actual path I'm just gonna select pen tool and I'm just gonna quickly lock up a quick very random path and now so just fit, set that to fill set color set size a bit so you can see it and now go to the corner and you can then set the size of the corner there and now of course if you want you can of course independently set each of these corners you can just see it comes up there you can just change them if you wish but apply to selection and then the whole thing becomes rounded corners and you can tweak it there remove dynamic status again so you've got a rounded line very quick and easy way of doing uh, rounded corners